talk that the metaverse will be a trillion dollar business opportunity at some point. I mean, what is the underlying infrastructure that is needed for that to happen? And then how would OG life fit into the metaverse? Well, you know, you see this debate ongoing on Twitter or in, in social media that, you know, Web3 is not going to amount to much or Web3 is hmm. a long ways to go, mainly because Web3 has to be decentralized. And it, I do agree to that argument, mainly because in order for Web3 to be called Web3, it needs to be truly decentralized. Um, you know, decentralized players like Facebook, even for even for us, for that matter, even so strong known as we are a company, uh, Unless we get our tokens out all in circulations, we're not going to be a we're not going to be a completely decentralized play, you know, and get all our tokens into circulation and whatnot. Um, and I think uh, most solutions are right now still designing for centralized implementations, where it has to be more central designed for decentralized applications. It's a way of thinking in an application design standpoint. It's also kind of really also releasing control over certain things, but it's it's for the common good or for the greater good of things. Um, it's just so it's just a way of people think and how they have to think. I mean, a lot of people in the early days of free open source software then would think that you know MySQL can make money because it was free, but you know we were able to choose that wrong. And in the Web 3.0 model, um, there's it's 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 the difference between centralized and decentralized. And centralized is like the likes of Facebook and the Googles. And how do we go to that and come up with a decentralized version of that? And coming up with a a, a network and infrastructure that is completely decentralized that way. And we start we need to start accumulating and aggregating all those um, resources to help build that. It doesn't happen overnight. Mm -hmm.